spend the next 100 hours in this solitary prison. I'm sick. Nassim, where am I going to poop? Come on. This room is the ultimate punishment for prisoners, so this is going to be really hard. I'm going to give you a tour. This is my bed, my couch, toilet paper for me to and my bag. I'm allergic to dust, so this is not going to be fun. It's just 100 hours, relax. I didn't show my family for more than one and a half year, and in the end of the video, I'm going to surprise them. Guys, to make sure Fides is safe, we brought a medic here. I've been a medic for four years. Nassim, I'm using the bucket. What is this bucket for? You don't want to know. I've seen worse, tell me. Nassim, your bucket have hole. Okay, this is really bad. Good thing you didn't take a shit in there. So Fides has been in there for almost four hours. And now it's time to give him food. The only thing I'm going to feed him is beans. Food. Thank you. My water! Ow, oh, shit. There is hair inside. The first 12 hours passed. We we'll have another 88. The next few days will be the coldest days of the year. So, I'm f I wonder what Nasim is doing now. It's so cold that I even need a heater. Uh oh, he's waking up. I've been sleeping for the past nine hours. I don't know what to do. Try exercise. Should I sleep again? I don't have a lot of options. I'm going to try to exercise for the first time. But the cool thing is that I will see my family. Even while I was exercising, I was cold. This is not a good sign. This night will be very, very, very cold. It's pee time. Asim, bring me water. This is gonna get a lot worse. The only water that is inside this room is my pee, so I'm not thinking about it. Don't worry. <laughs> I have to think an idea to force Nasim to give you what. Nasim, are you sleeping? Are you masturbating? So thirsty. Nasim, can you hear me? I'm gonna try to make him feel like he's alone. <laughs> there is nothing to do here. Nasim, if you don't give me water, I will throw my pee from here. Try to play a song. Watching him do this is torture for me. Is this the real life? What? Is this just fantasies? Just here in the corner of the room watching the walls. And I'm thinking if this can actually make you crazy. People actually stay inside those prisons. Like this was an actual isolation prison. Imagine staying in isolation for like months. When people go crazy, I fully understand. Nasim? Yes? When I come out of this thing, I will punch you in the face. And the worst thing, I want to clean my teeth. No shower, nothing. I need your uniform, shower time. What if I don't want to give you my uniform? Then no water, no food, you'll die. What if I give you my uniform and you don't give me water? <laughs> Trust me, I'm an honest guy. I'm ready. Yeah. Get my uniform. What? You're gonna shower. Here's the soap, don't drop it. Oh shit, ah, it's cold. <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. This is my last food? I don't know. I'm not gonna give him food anymore. I love you, Nassim. Thank you. Nassim said this is our last food. Damn it, he heard me saying that I'm not gonna give him food. There is zero chance of me eating everything. I will eat only one part and then I will eat the next part for tomorrow. I noticed now that he doesn't have anything. He's appreciating the small stuff like food and water. So seeing his family is probably gonna be a big deal for him. If you are missing one basic human need, it will make your life 10 times more difficult. Nassim, I'm cold. Where is my clothes? He's probably in there freezing, begging me for a new underwear, but too bad, you're not getting any. Before the challenge started, I hidden my clothes under the bed, so now I'm going to wear, go in the sleeping bag. Hopefully nobody sees me. If they see this, probably I will get in trouble from Nassim, but 
I don't care. Right now, he's wrapped up like a baby, and it's making me feel really bad. I feel like I'm a horrible person for now. I'm going to take them off and hide them for them to not understand what I'm doing. So, I'm going to try to take them off without them noticing them. I'm so hungry, I'm going to eat half of the food that Nassim brought me yesterday. A lot of times boredom is good because it brings creativity, but this is completely different. The only thing that I'm thinking about is my family. I did not see them for one and a half years because I was stuck in the United States trying to get a visa. Finally, after paying a lot of money and going through lots of struggles, I got a talent visa. Then I said goodbye to my friends and booked ticket to return to my country. However, before I surprise my parents, I wanted to film this video to sense how grateful I am and become more excited about their union. I'm gonna go give him his clothes and take his sleeping bag. I will punch you in the face. I will punch you. You are dead! You took my sleeping bag! Okay, this is gonna get harder. I'm gonna put rats in there. He's eating the box, he's eating the box. They're gonna kill Phidias. So this is the camera that Nassim can see me. So, we're going to stop him from watching us. We're halfway through! I have something that I wanna give you. Hey, do you like it? Are you gonna... Oh no! You guys are stupid. I don't like this. Hey, don't get the white one, he bites. I will catch them and throw them in the bucket. Oh my god, it's such a hard thing to catch them. Phidias is trying to catch the rat, that is not good because they bite. So if one of them bites him, that is... We may have to take him to the hospital. Another one done! Such a big relief. It was very stressful with the mice inside. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight without my sleeping bag. I took his sleeping bag, so this is going to be the worst night he's ever experienced. I just want to go and hug my family. That's it. Nothing else. So we brought a medic here to make sure Phidias is good because I'm going to stop giving him food and water. Welcome! Oh! <laughs> Smells so bad. The medic started worrying about me because I was getting sicker and sicker. Why do I choose to make such a big challenges? Why? My lungs are in pain. This is difficult. I, I, I couldn't expect this to be so difficult. I expected it to be like level three heart, and it's level nine. Right, we have 47 hours left. Nassim, give me something. You gave me nothing today. I'm sick. Give me food. Give me water. I think you got a flu and it's gonna be surely harder for him. I don't think you should be doing this at all. This is dangerous. This is not fun. I can't sleep. It's so cold. I'm extremely sick. I feel weak, my nose is running, my throat is dry. I thought that this would be a piece of cake to finish. This was literally the coldest night of my life. I wasn't even able to sleep. Give me your cup, I got water for you. Here is my cup. Oh, any food? Kevin is a place on there. You got me there. So hopefully I survived this night. We have another 36 hours left. Which is good because he's feeling isolated right now. My whole body is freezing. I'm going to jump in. I never felt so sick for the past two, three years. I remember before I left Cyprus one and a half year ago, my mom was crying in the airport. And she didn't know I was going to be away for that long. Oh my god, I miss her. Tell me how much time I have. I think approximately 33 hours, right? <laughs> Give me water, please. It's been for 48 hours, you gave me only one cup of water. Isn't that enough? No, it's not enough. Please, please. This is the meanest I've been my whole life. Yeah, I know inside of you, you probably feel horrible. This is the kind of person you are. 20. Eight hours left, only one night left. And I'm going to reunite with my family, oh my god. Nassim said that every day will become more and more difficult. Yesterday they came with the mice. I wonder what they're going to do today. Video now has less than 24 hours. My energy is... It's currently nighttime and I'm gonna make sure he doesn't sleep at all. And I'm gonna make this the hardest 24 hours of his life.
I'm gonna make this night hell for you. So that is so hot, and he came. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Fuck, it's so mad. If this night finish, then it's going to be heaven. So cool. <laughs> Is this enough? In two hours, the cold will be removed. Oh my god, this was a crazy night. Today is the day that I'm going to see my family. Oh my god. <coughs> if you are wondering if I pooped inside the prison, the answer is no. So I prefer to hold it. I can't wait for this to finish. Oh my god. Four hours left and I'm going to see my family. Oh wow, three hours left. So Phidias went from 100 hours to now less than one hour. And he gets off to see his family. And I'm really excited for him because that's all he wanted to do for the last year and a half. Phidias, guess what? Oh my god, a hundred hours done. Uh, I don't care about anything, I just want to see my family. Let's go to my family. 